Okay, so let's begin to put some of these concepts together and uh, put an arrangement of this tune on track. So we're going to look at just the A part, and we're going to look at the two uh, alternative ways of, of harmonizing it, just straight D minor and then that G over the third. So the melody is this. Now that's four bars of nine. Remember the time signature is nine, eight, one, two, three. one, one. One. And you'll notice when you listen back, the first and the third bars are the same. So again, data compression, you only have to learn it once. So I like to go down. In the A. So let me play that again. Now then I'm going to a G in the bass. Now the reharmonized version, I play a B in the bass. Up to the C. And it has the effect of taking this minor vibe and turning it major. So let me just play through those simple the simplest bass line with the melody, just these two alternate versions. The first, D minor, the second is in G, but we're playing it over the third. One, two, three, which is a B. Okay. Again. Let's just illustrate those ideas. We're going to play the A part both ways twice. Um, I would play it as many times as you need, loop it, and keep playing it until it feels comfortable and it sits under your fingers. So here's the A part of Elizabeth Kelly's Delight. <laughs> 